so welcome back again um this is tips on how to write your in-service reports i'm not going to touch on the tips that i touched on in the beginning please watch the previous video because this is just going to be the continuation i'm not going to go back yeah Sharp. so after you've mentioned your your product and the raw materials you'll now move on to the management structure right so management structure oh sorry i forgot to mention if you are working in a lab and you're not working in a manufacturing facility then you'll also like describe in detail the services that you guys offer so if you guys if you're working for a food testing laboratory then you'll say our service offering includes food testing of microbiology food testing chemical chemistry food testing uh, maybe you guys do pesticides analysis um, what else do we do pharmaceutical testing as well and then you'll explain that um, under micro testing we have a list of microbial tests that we can test for which include salmonella hysteria monocytogens pseudomonas e coli uh, total plate count staphylococcus aureus you list the different tests that you guys can offer at that facility and then under chemical analysis you will also mention that we do also provide chemical analysis which include nutritional uh, analysis this includes testing of proteins testing of vitamins testing of um heavy metals including iron lead le uh, zinc magnesium phosphorus potassium you list all of them you list all of them we also um, help with labeling uh, package ma labeling so nutritional analysis of food labeling like that label that you have on the back of your packet the one that says this product has nutrients it's got ions it's got proteins it's got vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c all of that you also list as well also maybe you guys provide water testing you say we do provide water testing for drinking water according to a certain regulation and we test on your water we test for microorganisms we test for 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 for, for, for what's this chemical analysis you just list all the tests that you guys do at your you just list the tests that you guys do yeah well so yeah sharp um management structure so this is basically the organogram of the company this also you'll find on the company website or on the company's like central drive or database where the company keeps keeps um, central information if you don't have access to that database ask somebody your manager or somebody who will have that access to that database and then they can give you like a picture of an or a diagram of an organogram right it should look something like this um, you see the structure right so it should have like a structure where it says this person here on top the operations director under the operations director it's this one under this one it's this one under this one it's these people under these people it's... so the whole management structure the whole organoleptic organoleptic organogram of the company you put it there if there is no diagram itself if maybe it's just a list of names where it says operations director you can also do it in that format in that bullet point form you don't have to actually do it as a diagram so the nice thing about our report is that they gave you a lot of leeway like they didn't they just gave you like a structure to follow but if you wanted to write something as a paragraph you could if you wanted to write it as a bullet point form you could if you wanted to put it in a diagram form you could you can you can this is your report i get you think please because it's your experience you understand 
so i chose to do a diagram because i feel like it's going to give you a clearer picture to see that okay this one is at the top and then and then and then and then under them and so on and so forth yeah well and then another thing to mention right is to label your diagrams so whatever diagram you paste or whatever picture you paste or illustration you need to di uh, you need to label it you need to say figure one organoleptic why do i keep saying organoleptic organogram organogram of tando's bakery illustrating management structure that's the heading underline it sharp and then however if you don't do a diagram like this you need to explain it underneath you need to you need to explain it you are about Uguti. what is this figure that you just pasted here so you'll say the organizational structure of tanda's bakery consists of higher management which includes the operations executive who has the following managers under him the manufacturing manager, the quality manager, the engineering manager, the finance manager, the HR manager, logistics manager, uh, CQ manager, research and development manager, and innovations manager. Sharp. Then you'll say, in then you, you explain everything in details, and then you say, in the manufacturing department, under the manufacturing manager, we also had team leaders who are reporting to the manufacturing manager and then we also have team leaders we have production managers we have manufacturing specialists we have industrial engineer we have a production flex and then 24 oh and then 24 team leaders under the team leaders oh okay no i just ended it there and then i said engineering department in the engineering department we have the engineering manager who has the following people under them the maintenance manager the project manager the maintenance planner the software specialist the maintenance manager also has people under them which includes the electrical foreman the packaging foreman the service foreman and engineering stores controller right sharp and then next department same thing in the finance department we have the finance manager who has the following people under him the cost clerk the cost accountant and the cost information clerk in the area you list all just the whole management structure as a whole you get it yeah well? and then just all the departments the quality departments and the what 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 another thing to add where you fit in the picture so if you like for example i was in the quality department you need to say where you fit in so you will say in the quality department there was the quality manager under the quality manager there was the quality supervisor and the food safety specialist under the quality supervisor we had the this and that and that and i was part of we had the quality control technicians and i was a quality control student and i was reporting to the quality supervisor like you you say where you fit into the structure and who you were reporting to right you can also i also added another a structure another organoleptic structure where i say this is the quality manager and these are the people who are under the quality manager and i was where was i here i was here the quality students right i say quality students and i put my name here so that they can see that oh okay she was reporting under the quality supervisor right also when you put a figure you must label it okay sharp then we move on to job description we still under content content job description this is your job description this is what you were expected to do either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis you name each and everything that you did if you were responsible for housekeeping in the lab you will say daily housekeeping in the lab and then if maybe you were supposed to do verification maybe you check housekeeping and then you have to sign something for record keeping you'll say daily verification of housekeeping right if you were a, a, a responsible for 
a certain equipment maybe you are supposed to check the incubator daily every morning to see if it's at the right temperature then you'll say daily checks verification checks of incubator temperature right if on a weekly basis you were supposed to hand in reports on maybe feedback reports on how we did this week you'll say weekly weekly feedback reports of whatever right you can do it in bullet form or you can do it in a paragraph form i preferred to do it in a bullet form because i don't have to explain anything in a stra- in a paragraph you have to do a sentence oh by a sentence job description just like how you write it on your cv you'll just say weekly chemical testing of cleaning chemicals weekly uh gmp and food safety inspections weekly monitoring of ccps which are critical control points that which includes x-rays and metal detectors on the processing lines weekly cleaning verification of of cleaning uh, oh sorry of machinery and equipment uh weekly verification of what 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 the daily receiving of customer complaints and weekly report writing of customer complaints and feedback da, 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 da. you list them da, 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 da. everything that you were doing you know everything you list everything that you were doing even if it takes up a whole entire page my job description you can't see it my job description took up an entire page yeah because yeah so we end up <laughs> And then after job description i had training programs you don't have to add training programs you can tailor make the report to suit you unless stated otherwise right so with ours like i said they gave us leeway to to just do the reports in whichever way you can right so here i had training uh, programs i included them here because when i got to the company they provided us with a lot of training there was training first day there's induction valley where they train you on how everything works there's a food safety induction and then there's a health and safety induction you name there you say training programs or inductions or whatever you'll say we also received on the first day i received a i i received a food safety um induction which spoke about or which covered points like food safety uh the quality of the food gmps glps um it covered things like the prps prerequisite programs all these things you just you just ne- you just say what's okay this is the training that i got i also got training I remember there was a company that came in that gave us training on how to do chemical dilutions of the cleaning chemicals because I was responsible for verification of the cle- the cleaning chemicals to make sure that the the oh I is look to make sure that the cleaning chemical was diluted at the right dilution right at the right chemical dilution so I used to check this on a weekly basis right to make sure that we cleaning with enough water and enough salt uh, so the soap and water ratio is great so there was a company that came and gave us that training right so i also mentioned it here that i got training on that if you ever got hasab training some companies do provide you with hasab training you include that i also got hasab training and in the hasab training this is what we learned and this is what we t- we were taught the training cut was over a period of 5 days you name everything that the company has done for you you will list it in there shop and then we've got the process flow right so the process flow or is it called the process flow on the Oh, okay it says outline the processes okay but we've got the process flow so the process flow excuse me is basically how the the process of the company works so how 
umsebenzi uhamba kanjani in the process you know for example if you work in production area the process flow will always start at the receiving of raw materials because before we can do a finished product we need raw materials right so you will explain the whole process of receiving maybe you are like working at a bakery so you'll list the process of receiving the flour you'll say that the flour is received in a big truck and then it's stored in large tanks and then afterwards it's gonna go over to the mixing area where it's gonna be mixed with the other wet ingredients the receiving of the wet ingredients the wet ingredients come in also their trucks after they come in their trucks they then get stored in their old own cold rooms if the, the 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 butter comes and it's stored in another hot you know another cold room you mentioned that from from receiving our raw material from receiving of the flour the butter the sugar the salt the oil you mentioned which after it's received it's stored in this tank or it's stored in this cold room or it's stored in wherever from there it goes over to the mixing area where the flour then will get mixed with the butter with the oil na, na, na. Na, na, na. after then it gets after it's mixed it forms a dough the dough will then go over to the cutting section the cutting section the cutting section consists of cutting rollers where the dough will then be, be cut in the different shapes and then the dough will go into the oven the oven is at 60 degrees whatever for it, it's it, sorry the, the the biscuits will bake in the oven for 60 degrees for 15 minutes for example and then after the 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 the, 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 the dough after the dough goes out of the oven it goes into wherever the cooling lines after the cooling lines it goes to the packaging area after the packaging area it then gets stored and then it gets taken to the warehouse and then has the warehouse then goes to distribution center and then from the distribution center and then gets taken to retail you list every one of that process from the beginning you explain that process in detail and you explain it in the simplest form like you're explaining it to somebody who's never worked at your company before so that they understand how the processes work if you want i also added a diagram i'm a person on my diagram I love diagrams. So you say receiving our raw material it goes over to storage, it goes over to secondary storage, it goes over to mixing area, it goes over to wherever, it goes over to cooling cooling section, it goes over to the oven section, it goes over to the cutting section, it goes over to da, 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 da. you show that diagram but you also explain it. This video is so long. And then equipment and machinery that was used. The equipment and the machinery you list every single okay no with this one sometimes it's not realistic to list all the equipment and the machinery you used i'd say list at least five so that your thingy your report is not too long because already it is long as it is right so with equipment you'll list the equipment that you worked with so if you worked with baby for example I was responsible for chemical dilution. So the in, the instruments that I used for doing those chemical dilutions and titrations, you'll say maybe you'll list them and with the I was using a beaker, I was using then a burette, I was using a conical flask, uh, uh, volumetric cylinder, you you say that i was using them for titrations and then i'd add the acid in the beaker and then after you know just explain why you were using that equipment that you were using so i have here a calorie meter i have metal detectors and x-rays you explain what metal detectors and x-rays are what the functions are what they do sometimes you can go on google and type there function of an x-ray or function of a metal detector and then it will give you it will explain what it is and give you its function you can summarize that in your own words put it in there but you must reference you understand them oh my batteries die and then after weigh you list all the machines weighing scale if you use the scale 
what is a weighing scale you'll say a weighing scale is a scale that we use to measure the dough or we use to measure the finished product um at the final product packaging area um we did these verification checks maybe hourly so you'll say i used the weighing scales hourly or i use them only once a day or only three times a day when i weigh this and that and that and that so you explain all the machines that you used what they were used for how often you use them and then put pictures just to make your report look nice i like pictures and illustrations so put a picture there from the internet or somewhere but also label it okay. yeah so after the machines and equipment will get to the discussion just now right uh let's just jump on the referencing now with referencing you must reference everything have at least maybe about my four or five references so if you take a picture from google reference that your url that www address reference that in your references if you have maybe a, a, a sentence or two sentences that you got from an article you reference that article just how you do with your lab with your lab reports if you got um whatever you do so try to at least have maybe uh, uh, uh so you'll have your company's websites right that you got the information from try to have maybe like another website or maybe two other websites as well and then try to have at least one or two journal articles as well or maybe find a book also on the internet to reference so so that you have a variety of references right so when you are referencing you will reference just how you'd reference Wuti. This is the author, this is the date, this is the name of um, the, the, the article, and then the URL, so the www, and then you'll say it was accessed July, uh, 25th of July, 2022, for example, right? Um, if it is no, if there is no um, author, if, you, if there is no author of that website, then you will just you will just reference like the auditor who, the, the auditor the editor who edited that website that web that web page if there isn't then you'll just write the the website's name then the article's name and then the url the www and then you'll say it was accessed on the state shop lastly i'm gonna make this quick discussion discussion is self-explanatory the discussion is your own experiences and your own words and this is what you learned and what that taught you let me show you my let me read you my discussion so my time spent at Sanders bakery was a great learning experience i learned a lot from the different departments that i was exposed to namely food safety department quality controls department raw materials department and production the training that was that i received was helpful and helped with teaching me some industry skills I received training on most of the factory equipment and machinery, and this is a useful skill to learn as I may need to apply this knowledge for future jobs. I also received training on the factory processes and operations, starting from receiving of raw materials through to packaging and distribution of the final product. I learned each step of the process, the production process, and how the HACCP, Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point system is integrated in the process. I learned how to perform chemical titrations and dilutions, which are very important in the cleaning of process machinery as well as cleaning equipment. This in-service uh, experience did not only teach me about industry, but it also taught me important skills that I need in the working world. It taught me how to conduct myself and how to interact with different people from ground level to management in a professional manner. I did, however, had a, have a hard time adjusting to working in a large factory with, with a large number of people from all age groups, as I had only been exposed to a school environment with people in my age group. I also struggled with communicating to, with all the employees and having to work in a team with them and get tasks done. I also struggled with communicating with people in management positions as I found them very intimidating. All these struggles were things that I was not aware that I would encounter or have problems with until I entered the working world. I do, however, think this is this will improve in my next job as I am now aware of what to expect in the working world and I am now equipped with the skills to survive a work environment. <coughs> Sorry, that was my just that was my discussion.
and everything that I learned in a nutshell. And then after discussion is references. We covered references. If you have any additional things you want to add, like I added uh, my certificate. So we did uh, a training program. Like I told you, I got training of chemical dilutions. After training, got a certificate. I also added a copy of my certificate here at the back to show them that I got experience and I got two certificates at my job. So yeah, basically that is how you will do um, your, your report in a nutshell. Remember, everything must be in your own words. Or if you got something from the internet or a source, you put it in your own words, you summarize it, but you also reference it. Reference it, sorry, you do in-text referencing and you do the referencing at the end. You must um, label every picture, diagram, illustration, just put a, a label on it. Every picture that you paste needs to be explained. You can't just put a random picture of something that we don't understand. You must always explain your pictures as well. Um, yeah, everything must be in your own words. So it's I, I learned this, I, uh, uh, we did this, because it's your experience and it must be in your own words. Yeah, this is quite a lengthy one, but I knew it was going to be quite a lengthy one because I wanted to explain everything in detail. And I really hope that you got as much out of it as possible. And maybe yours is not going to be exactly like this one, obviously, but whatever that you got from it, please use it. Whatever tips you found um, interesting or you feel like they're going to be useful, please just leave a comment there, you know.